Hi, my name is Jaycee Strong, the USA College of Nursing. Today I'm going to be performing and cleaning of your central venous axis um, device. Um, and next I'll perform hand hygiene. At this point, I would um, put the patient or put the mask on the patient before removing the old typoderm in a real life situation. But we're not going to do that today. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the sterile field. Next, I would um, apply um, my sterile gloves. I'm gonna just move my seat back real quick and do that over here. I'm using a scoop method to put on the other glove. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange my um, my equipment. So and then I would um, at this point I'm going to move my CVAD back over. So. Please don't pick off points. <laughs> so my CVAD's back over here, and I'm gonna move my sterile dressing just so y'all can see the procedure better. There. Okay. I hope y'all can see this, okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to um, Cleanse the area with alcohol. So, now I dispose of this into the trash can. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swab it with alcohol. So, I'm going to start at the insertion site and I'm just going to go in circular motions around it, going further out, making sure not to cross back over. Next, I would clean with my core, core hex clean. And to do that, I would squeeze it. And then I would go back around it, cleaning vigorously in a horizontal and a 
vertical motion, making sure not to go past. And then I would do this for vigorously for 30 seconds. The next thing I would do is I would apply my bio patch. And my left hand is um, contaminated now. Make sure not to touch anything with my left hand. My bio patch is applied, so the next thing I would do is apply my tegaderm. I would make sure not to go past the black mark. So this is the black mark and that's the um, tegaderm on it. And then the next thing I would do is I would um, do my documentation. So that would include the appearance of the site, if there was any drainage and the amount of drainage and um, what kind of drainage. Um, I would also include if there was any cultures obtained um, and then the type of cleanser I used and the type of dressing that I applied. Um, I would also include the date and time of my signature along in the documentation. And then um, that concludes my speed bag.